Now, Snowfall originally got some backlash and some criticism when it came to the story because it was so focused on the crack epidemic, as well as some people felt like it made Black people look bad. What are your thoughts on it? I love that. I love that people talking shit now. All the people that didn't witness people doing dope. All the people, mama who wasn't on crack. Like, my mama was on crack. So I, I love when they talk that bullshit about how it make black people look. Because how do you want black people to look in a way that it doesn't always exist? I love the new black Hollywood. I appreciate everybody, the little rails of the world, the, uh, all those great, all those actors that are telling these these stories so 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 new that I didn't even know existed. Like like uh, so. Like, oh my God! I don't want to. I'm trying not. I'm not. I'm not trying not to be mad about it. But bottom line is. Shut the fuck up. If you don't want to read this book, don't don't go to the bookstore. This is a real book, though. It's a real story. It's not glorifying crack nor cocaine, but I'll tell you this. When I grew up, that's the only thing I saw. I saw that out the door, and I saw them people being successful. I saw black people with no opportunity to have businesses become CEOs, and maybe not the most politically correct way, but they became CEOs. They became businessmen, and, and they became Jay-Z. So without that story, without the Jigga, and now Jigga's with Beyonce. And they Ivy Blue and Park, Ivy Parking and my, shit is explosive. Diddy's world, right. promoting his father, but his father came from a rugged world. And he was able to teach his son enough to become a CEO in a business that didn't even exist at the time. So shut the fuck up is what I would say to anybody who say, you're telling the wrong, you, we, we're, we're glorifying crack. We're, no, it's not. Look, have you, you didn't watch it. Just like Jay said, do you listen to lyrics? Do you skim through it? What are you, what are you doing for real? You're not paying attention to the story. No one's saying this is the best lifestyle. And if there was, what we're saying is that you should actually be nervous because if there was another lifestyle that wasn't illegal that we could make the same money from, we'd be part of that shit. And we start taking over that and we start bagging that up and selling it too. But that's all we had at the moment. So that's what, that's what happened. I didn't sell drugs. Mm. I, I sold drugs because I get talked about, people talk about my shoes and I wanted to do something different. I sold drugs because I wanted to be out of my mom's house because I didn't want to be another burden. So I was out the crib by 17, going on close to 18. I wanted to be on my own, doing my own thing. So I, I was hustling on my own. And nor was I pushed to it. And I was raised right, too. I just wanted to hustle because mm. we wanted something else because you laughed at our food stamp. You laughed at our EBT. So we don't want that no more. So then we'll sell drugs and we'll rap about it. We'll write about it. We'll talk about it. We'll bring it to the basketball court, the passion, the anger, the upset, and we're going to make the fucking money off of it. And it's pretty cool to make money telling a story about selling drugs, making close to the same money I would a week back then by just talking about it. And you can't lock me up for it either.